Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to do lookups three different ways and how to do reverse lookups three different ways. But before we hop into that, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button and then click the notification bell icon to make sure you get noticed this every time I post a new video. I can also be reached on my Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn channels. So now let's hop into that and see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a table here with 30 different values and references related to those values. And I have a drop down list here in cell H1 that I can choose any one of the values that we have in that list. And we're going to use VLOOKUP, INDEX AND MATCH, or XLOOKUP to do a regular lookup and then a reverse lookup. So for the regular lookup with VLOOKUP, I'm going to type equals VLOOKUP. My lookup value is going to be cell H1, comma, my table array. Because I have a table, I can just click in the upper left corner and it'll highlight both columns or all the columns of the table. I'll type comma. My column index is 2. My exact match or approximate match, I'm going to type in a 0 for an exact match. Close my parentheses, hit enter, and I get 41640, which is the correct value based on the number 50. And I can select any of these values and it will automatically provide the correct reference number. Now index match, what I'll do here is type equals index. My array is going to be the reference. That's what I want to return, comma. And then the row number, I'm going to use the match function. And what am I going to look up? I'm going to look up this value, comma, in this array here, comma. I want an exact match. Close my parentheses on the match function, on the index function, hit enter. And again, I get the exact same value. XLOOKUP, this is one that just became available with Microsoft 365. And so this formula will be equals XLOOKUP tab. My lookup value is H1 again. My lookup array is in the value column, comma. My return array is in the reference column. Close my parentheses, hit enter, and again, I get the same result. So here's three different ways of doing a lookup with either VLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH, or XLOOKUP. Now, if we want to do a reverse lookup, let me unhide this. Here, you can notice that my reference is in the far left column, and the value I want to use to look up is actually in the right column. So for XLOOKUP, again, very simply, equals XLOOKUP tab. My lookup value is cell H1 comma, my lookup array, now I just click on the value column here, comma, my return array, the reference column, close my parentheses, hit enter, and I get the exact same value. So if you look at the difference between the two XLOOKUP formulas, you see they're identical, except for I'm using table one in the first example and table two in the second, but I'm selecting the value column and returning what's in the reference column. It doesn't matter which order that they're in. For index and match, I will type equals index tab. My array, again, is going to be the reference column, comma, and my match function will determine the row. Match, I'm going to look up value 12, cell H1, comma, in this column here of values, comma, I want an exact match. Close that parentheses, close it for index, hit enter, and again, I get the correct answer. And again, if you compare these two, there's really no difference other than table one versus table two. So index and match and X lookup are very simple to do with either a regular lookup or if the values are reversed, doing a reverse lookup. V lookup though is a little bit of a challenge. So I'll type equals V lookup. My lookup value still H1 comma. Now, my table array, I'm going to use the choose function. And my index number in curly brackets, I'm going to use a, an array constant and type 2, comma, 1. Close that, comma. 
my value number one is going to be the reference column, comma. My value number two for the choose function will be the value column. I'll close the choose function, hit comma, say that my column index will be column two, comma, zero for an exact match, close my parentheses, and hit enter, and again, I get the right answer. What's happening here is with the choose function, you select which one of the items that you list in the choose function that you want to select or choose. In this case, I want to choose both of them, but I want to choose them in the reverse order. So that's why I type a two and then a one. So it takes the reference and the value columns, it reverses them, and this allows me to look up in the value column, return the reference column as I need to do with the VLOOKUP function. So here are six different ways to do lookups, three regular and three reverse. I hope you find this interesting, and that's how you can do this in Excel.